Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, beer review number five already, which is kind of crazy. Time's flying with these things. Um, today's beer I'm actually really excited about. It is Surly's Overrated West Coast Style IPA. Um, this beer is not available to me. Um, a Surly is out of Minnesota, and I don't think, I don't want to misspeak when I say this, but I'm almost positive that they do not distribute outside of the state. So um, you either have to know somebody who lives there or you can go online and find these beers and pay the ridiculous shipping costs that people charge to ship alcohol. So um, if you want to get your hands on some Surly, um, and, you know, and you're not in the Minnesota area, if you can trade for it, definitely do it. Um, I've had their Furious um, IPA before, which I was a huge fan of, um, and I'm really, really excited to try uh, the West Coast style overrated um, IPA. I got this um, sent to me by my buddy Dan, so Dan, thank you, sir. You are a saint. Um, and in honor of Dan tonight, we are going to play some 720 while we drink the Surly Overrated, so you can see the 720 there. Um, Dan is a fellow arcade enthusiast. And he recently picked up a 720, so I figured it was only appropriate to check this beer out and play some 720, so um, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, from the can, Surly writes, it's been said before, it's easier to brew an extremely hoppy beer than extremely balanced beer, and you know us, we're always looking for the easy way out. We jumped on the West Coast IPA bandwagon and brewed this dry and hoppy ale. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Uh, Surly's a little bit of a one-trick pony, they say, and they only brew gimmick beers. And maybe we are overrated, but at the end of the day, it's just a beer. If you like it, great. So do we. If you only liked us when we were small, then leave this one on the shelf. Let one of the fanboys grab it. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. It kind of seems like it's a little play on the uh, all the text that Stone has on their beers, which is pretty funny. So. Um, I like the can too. I'm uh, I'm digging beers and cans. I think we were talking about canned beer a couple videos ago. Um, I drank a couple of beers out of cans this past weekend, and I have absolutely zero issue with them. Um, I drank some Pizza Port beer that was out of a can. I drank some Ballast Point that was out of a can. Um, canned beers, they're doing it for me. So um, I want to go ahead and get this thing open. Let's get this in the glass and check it out. I'm thirsty. It's warm today. Give it a semi-aggressive pour. So, pour is a, uh, a really hazy orange, kind of a tangerine color. Typical what you would expect from a West Coast style IPA. Um, the head is a kind of an off-white. It's nice and fluffy. A bunch of little bubbles um, around the edges. Uh, carbonation's good. There's a bunch of little bubbles streaming up from the bottom of the glass. So, this definitely looks... Um, what you'd expect from a West Coast style IPA. It looks great in the glass. So um, let's see how it smells. Yeah, you get uh, you get big citrus notes um, up front. There's a little bit of that uh, piney kind of dankness, not really overpowering like a lot of the West Coast IPAs that I'm used to drinking. I mean, this is a single IPA. And the thing that's kind of weird about this can, nowhere on this can is the ABV printed, um, which is strange. I don't think I've ever had an IPA, a double IPA, any kind of beer like that that doesn't have the alcohol by volume printed on it. It just shows it's a full pint, or one pint, 16 fluid ounces. Is that what it says, one pint? I can't read, that's all smeared on the front. Um, but there's nowhere on here that shows the ABV. I looked it up, um, it is 7.3%. So this is a, I mean, this is a bigger beer for sure. Um, but yeah, the. The citrus notes are big. It smells really, really good. Um, like I said, you get the the, the um, even maybe a little bit of a mango on the back end of that. More orange, I think, than anything is what I'm getting out of the uh, the citrus notes. You do get a little bit of that pineness too. So um, I'm uh, I'm excited to try this. So cheers. That's weird. The uh, the taste definitely does not follow the nose of this beer. You get the bitterness and you get a lot of pine up front, but you do not get a lot of that uh, that fruity kind of a citrusy uh, smell that you get out of it. The aroma is a lot different than the taste, which is kind of took me by surprise. Um, 
it's got a good mouthfeel. It's a light tasting beer. Um, I mean, it's it tastes really, really good. This, I mean, you could sit and easily session a couple of these things. I mean, 7.3%, you'd, <laughs> you'd be in a lot of trouble after three or four of these pints. But uh, the bitterness kind of lingers. I like that. I like that uh, that bitterness out of um, an IPA. But yeah, you don't get a lot of... Uh, you don't get a lot of that fruity uh, nose um, in the taste. Yeah, just a lot of uh, a lot of danky kind of piney notes to that. It's a good beer though, and it's warm today. It was uh, it was about eighty four degrees. I mean, which isn't warm to where a lot of you guys are watching from, but um, North County, San Diego, it doesn't get too hot like that. Um, so this is this is a really really refreshing beer right now. It tastes really really good. So um, I mean another winner for me from Surly. I, like I said, I've had their Furious. I had it once. I'm uh, I'm gonna try and get my hands on some more of that to to review it again. Um, it was uh, I think I had it like three or four months ago, and I just I got it and and drank it right away. I remember I mean I enjoyed it. I didn't really take a whole lot of notes on it. Um, I just remember that I thought it was a really really solid beer. So I'm gonna try and get my hands on some more Surly beer. If this was available to me. Um, I would be drinking it all the time. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of, of IPAs, and this does a good job of kind of mimicking the West Coast style, like it says. So, uh, I mean, this is, for me, I mean, A-, minus, B+. Plus. I'd, I'd give it an A-. minus. This is a good beer. So I want to thank you, Dan, again, for sending this, my friend. Um, I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on some more of this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and play some 720. I don't know if any of you guys are fans of that game, but it is a fantastic game. Any of you guys who played Skate or Die on the NES or Tony Hawk on PlayStation, you can thank that game right there for it. So, fantastic, fantastic arcade games. And it seems like all the cool kids are trying to get their hands on one these days. So, I um, want to thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Um, if you've had this beer before, uh, leave a comment and let me, know, uh, let me know what you think of it. I think it's solid. Definitely a, uh, a tasty, tasty beverage. So, yeah, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for sharing the videos. Thanks for commenting. Until next time, cheers.